Hello and welcome back to my craft room. I've got something new to try today. Uh, let me show you. Let's go straight uh, straight to my desk. So um, for last month's schooler box, the, yeah, the June schooler box, we got um, neon pintor pens, and I love pintor pens, and we got Frisk Bristol board and a micron pen. I loved, but I loved all the supplies, but I didn't think the Bristol board worked well at all with those particular paint pens so I said at the time I think I did my um, challenge piece on a different kind of paper and I said at the time I'll come back and do something different with the Bristol board just to show that I do love the Bristol board now this isn't the the one that we got the pad that we got in the scroll box because obviously it's A4 but it is frisk it's the same weight as Bristol board it's exactly the same thing just in a larger format I have been re-watching some videos that I've watched ages and ages ago. I meant to get around to having a go at this. There's this uh, brilliant lady on uh, YouTube called Ulrika Hirsch. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name properly. I think she's German, um, but I will leave a link to her. Oh, wow. Her, her kind of, well, she just makes it look like she's doing really easy doodling, but absolute works of art. I love, I love what she does. Check her out. I've, yeah, I went down a very long rabbit hole watching her yesterday anyway i thought i'd have a go at one of what she calls her magic spirals and it'll give me a chance to use lots of different kinds of markers on this bristol board and give it a real good testing so i've got the um 12 a size 12 micron pen which is quite a fat one fattest one that i've ever this came in a previous scholar box which would be handy if i need any sort to cover any larger areas or get some bolder lines there's also a brush micron um Ulrika uses a uh, point three and I've got this Copic one again I think it probably came in a previous scholar box but I know that this will be okay with well it says pigment ink water and Copic proof and um, I think Copic's the alcohol aren't they so I should be all right with anything with that so and then I thought I'll try lots of different kinds of markers just to see how they all work on this Bristol board so I've got this set of felt pens that I bought and some extras because there was uh, spare pockets in there and um, I bought this years ago like more than 12 years ago um, I loved them yeah, I, they don't make them anymore it was quite I mean, at the time I think I thought I was spending quite a lot of money it was like 24 quid or something but wow they just lasted so many years you've got a brush on one end and uh, a little fine point on the other so that's going to be really good for this um, they're water based I can you can use them um, with the water brush as well and get sort of watercolour effects it's a good range of colours and then I've got some extras here like I've got the Faber Castell pit pens I've got a few of them there um, and then <laughs> quick tour through my uh, very lightning tour through my marker collections so these are more alcohol mostly it's the alcohol based ones here but not necessarily not all you can see how many different pens and things I've got there the tiny picks there um, is tried blend spectrum noir ones these are alcohol based these are alcohol based these are all the sort of flesh tan ones <laughs> i've got even more here brush pens there yeah so all sorts there to try out on this paper oh, i should probably start with these so rather than just pick myself a few colors and try to limit myself i'm just going to work through i'm just going to use a bit of everything and uh see how everything works on this paper one of the lovely things about um bristol board is that it's really smooth it's going to be lovely for doing this um another great thing is that both sides are the same so because i've got a bit of something on there so you can turn over and use the other side well, i actually bothered to paint my nails because we were going out the other night and since then i've been doing clay and paint and i've, I've ruined them already i ruined them the next day oh. Okay, so I'm going to go quiet now and start doing this uh, uh, magic spiral. Um, I'm going to sort of follow along with one of Ulrika's videos for inspiration and I will definitely link to her um, in the description box. Do check her out if you like us doing this kind of thing. She also keeps a little um, drawing book where she just does these imaginative creative doodles every day. Wow! Yeah, I was blown away. I was blown away. So I'm going to stop waffling and crack on with this and um, play some music and see you at the other end. Get rid of my face. You don't need to be looking at that. Oh, I've got rid of the wrong one. <laughs> hey, just look at a black screen of my face. <laughs>
this is going to be uh, this this is about 50 minutes already i can't believe it or well, it's including my waffle at the beginning but you know um clearly this is going to be hours and hours and hours but i'm going to really enjoy it um but i don't think you're going to want to sit through and watch me do all of it if you want to sit and watch someone do this properly check out Ulrika's um channel because wow you'll be inspired i promise you so i think what i might do um is take all of my pens downstairs where it's a little bit cooler and carry on working on this and then i'll come back in there show you how it turned out when i've when i've kind of filled the page i don't think mine will be a spiral i think i'm going to try and make it kind of fit the whole page um and i'm just going to keep dipping back in and out of all week's videos just to get sort of inspiration for how to do the doodles but mainly you just kind of let it grow all organically really and you can't really go wrong well having said you can't go wrong i kind of did go wrong and um ended up ditching the one I was working on and I want to start again. I did try out pretty much every type of marker in my collection and um, it worked really well with all of them. The only thing seems to be those paint markers. It doesn't like those acrylic paint markers. I didn't like the Pintor ones but I wonder if it'd be all right with Oscar. I have to know now. I'm going to use a little bit just on the other side. Yeah it's the same kind of thing. It's, so that's acrylic paint markers and these I think are pigment ink paint markers um doesn't seem to like them but all the other kinds of markers I tried the alcohol based ones came through to the other side but they went on absolutely fine looked fine and the water based ones didn't come through at all I found that the ones I enjoyed the most were my my good old um whisper pens my my cheapy set from well not cheaper set but my old good old set from years ago um so what i've decided to do is start again this time i've penciled it out first and um i'm just going to enjoy um going over the lines and then coloring it all in it'll be very therapeutic and um i won't get frustrated like i did just now with kind of <laughs> i don't know how i tell you what all week makes it look so easy to just do it freehand straight onto the page without sketching anything in first but she's been doing it a long time i'm sure so i'm just going to do that and i thought i'd film a little bit of it speed through and uh, you might enjoy watching let's take my face out of the way though my hot sweaty face it's cooled off a little bit today but okay so i'm gonna watch something on youtube and go through this i probably won't uh, won't show you all of it i'll have to clip a good deal out because it is very time consuming but very enjoyable and relaxing
So um, it's the next morning. Um, I ended up sitting for several hours last night uh, watching uh, watching Netflix, <laughs> doodling away. Um, and this is what I ended up with. I'm really happy with it. Um, I think it's that way up, but it doesn't matter. Um, so although I, I pretty much copied a week as design for this beginning part just to get me into it and I felt I had to pencil it all out to start with once I got to sort of here I was feeling much more comfortable with the whole thing and and was able to just freehand sort of ad-lib these bits myself straight onto the a paper with with pen so I think now I've done one I'll, I'll be fine to do um do what she I mean I can't do it as well as she does you, you just you need to check out Ulrika's channel of wow um, I'll definitely be watching her some more um, but yeah I'm really happy with how that turned out I found that although um, the Copic multi-liner worked really well on here and this was a, a point three, and I chose it because I thought whatever type of pen I put over it is going to be fine um, in the end I felt I want I just liked a bolder line but that's me I like I, I like the contrast um, so I ended up going with the micron pen because I had a 12 in that and then I just chose a selection of colours because it was all getting a bit bewildering having so many markers so I just chose a selection of colours different shades of blue, grey, pink and orange um, just in these water-based whisper markers that unfortunately you can't get anymore because I'd definitely recommend them if you could just in case you can so it's, so it's Sugarloaf Products Made in China. I might look it up and see if you whispers strokes. Can't believe how well they still work. But you can see how yeah, you can see how well they still work. Um so there's no significant um there's a little bit of bleed to there but not a lot. Um I found that they layered and blended really well on this paper. I've done a lot of layering blended just to just to test that out really. Um so I thought, and this was the one uh, that I started initially that I felt was going wrong. But looking at it again, I think I'm going to carry on with it. Now I feel a bit more comfortable with the whole process. And uh, I keep going with this one as well because I quite like it now. Um, but I thought before I go, what I'm going to do is um, one of my false starts here. And I'm just going to test so we can see. I'm going to have to speed through them really quickly. But I've got 40-ish... I think just over 40 different types of markers every single one is a different type it's going to be fun putting them all away afterwards in their right slot but you know so I'm just going to see how they how they work on the um as far as I know the only ones that haven't worked very well have been paint pens so I've got a Posca actually it's not so bad And a Pintor, <laughs> just to spite me, it seems to be going on fine now. I think if I wanted to layer at all, I think I'd struggle. A little bit, yeah, it's chewing up paper now. So, um, but it might be that if I let them dry, then they would layer better anyway. So that's those. Um, this is just a cheap pastel, probably alcohol based, I don't know. Highlighter, pan shop highlighter. So it's a pastel highlighter. This is a real neon highlighter. Yeah, I think what I need to do, to be fair, is to just test them going over each other as well. Yeah, the, just one layer of the of the um, paint pens, either type of paint pens that I've got, actually seems to be fine. It's it's when you want to then layer over. So this is um, a Winsor and Newton Pro marker. Then I'll try and layer over that again. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. I can blend and layer on this. 
Yeah, and it's not pilling up the paper with the, with the paint pens. It just seems to pill up the paper before you're able to do that. Brush marker pro. Again, I can do. I found with the um, we're doing the spiral thing. I was able to get several layers. This is a Copex, so this is what's coming. Yeah, it's the alcohol-based ones are tending to come through, but it doesn't seem to affect how they look on this side. So that's fine. You just need to think about protecting the surface underneath. So this is a Copic, and you would need to be able to go in and put another layer on quite quickly to be able to blend. So I wouldn't want to wait for it to dry first. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not getting any pilling and stuff with that, but it probably is going through. Yes. Um, here's an eco line brush pen. So these are water based, I believe. Mm -mm, that's having a bit of a strange, uh, it's getting a bit of a strange texture. That change it as it dries. Definitely able to layer over the top, but I'm getting a slightly mottled effect at the moment. Here's a Molotow liquid chrome. I probably needed to have spent some time. All goes on there lovely. I had to say the fine liners go on beautifully as well because it's so lovely and smooth. This is really fine this chrome one. Another little fine one. Just a little cheapy I think water based pen. Here's a distress marker something a bit different. That'd be water based I believe. I'll go straight in with another layer without any pilling so that's good so that's the thing I just wasn't able to do with the uh, oh, oh what is this um, a Tombow alcohol based brush pen again able to build up lots of layers there probably coming through yes yeah, definitely the alcohol ones that come through but as I say not a huge problem okay another fine one a Copic multi-liner pigment ink yep goes on beautifully sharpie bit of an old sharpie I hope it's working yeah that'll probably come through no it's not um, this is a Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner. Oh, here's a Nouveau Glitter Marker. That's a bit different, isn't it? Probably needs more priming. Pen's a bit dried up. I need to have a go through these uh, pen wallets and just see if some of them need checking out. Make space for newbies. I think that would be working fine if if the pen was <laughs> another fine one what's this a jelly roll yeah jelly roll moonlight so this has a, a lovely kind of strange iridescent color changing sort of effect a beautiful these yeah gone on fine stabilo It just works so beautifully, it's so smooth and lovely and you build up layers beautifully. Just not with <laughs> just not with the paint pens that we got it with in last month's scroll box unfortunately. Uh, these were brush pens that we got a couple of a few boxes ago now. As you can see I used it a lot and the the nibs all messed up. But hopefully there's enough pigment left in there to try this out. I think these were water based. Yeah, what's going on? Fine. Um, not it's pilling up very slightly. A metallic uh, STA metallic marker. Oh, that looks like oh. Hey. I'm not going to do one of those spirals just in metallics. flexible calligraphy nibs these are brilliant most amazing nibs these because they they look like a almost like a chisel point like a uh, 
kind of like a chisel point but it's flexible so if you can do calligraphy which I can't they're brilliant chameleon these are the ones that you can put them in put the different colors in the set into the, the different um, color top and you can change the color <laughs> so obviously that's not going to happen here oh, it's <laughs> I've obviously had it in a different color and left it there. wood layer on top if I wanted it to Faber Castell Al Albrecht Dura watercolor marker oh, I forgot I had these oh beautiful I don't think the paper likes getting too wet I think that's part of it so with the really juicy pens you need to be, go a bit careful uh, Copic this is Copic multi-liner is it no Copic sketch Copic sketch yep there's fine uh, Adirondack um, this is a pigment pen I think it doesn't say bullet tip it doesn't say but I'm sure it's a pigment pen donkey's years old well, that's fine <laughs> Spectrum Noir Twi blends, uh, Twi blend. So these are alcohol markers that where, where you get three different shades of the same colour in the same pen. So you might want to blend the three together. Let's just try these two. Yeah, and that's allowing me to blend really nicely. Uh, deco brush pigment oh, that's lovely what's this one A permanent marker yep Permanent line maker, permanent liner, liner, fine permanent liner. Yep, no problem with that. Slick writer. Don't know if this is still working. Yep. A pit big brush. All of them are allowing several layers and blending really, really well. Sketch marker graphics alcohol based uh, pit artist pen probably the same as that actually that's some peeling up a little bit and I think it might be because it's staying wet I don't know that's definitely feeling a little bit like oh set my teeth on edge when I go over the top um, this is a Stabilo metallic yeah definitely if it's still really wet when you want to go back over you do have to go easy I wonder if that's why the paint markers are because the paint will tend to sit on the surface and stay wet whereas the water based or pigment ones kind of sink in slightly and then you can layer over and the alcohol ones kind of dry off I, I don't know I don't know what the science of it is but this is just cheap brush pens there isn't even a a manufacturer on there it just says colorful art <laughs> But yeah, working fine. Nearly at the end now. Faber Metallics, Faber Castell Metallics. Slight bit of filling there. When I went back over. Um, here's a Unipin fine line brush.
And finally, American Crafts Memory Marker Archival Two Tips Scrapbooking Marker. Well, this is a really long time. Let's dry up a little bit. Might be time for the for this one to say goodbye. By the way, just in case you didn't know, if you have a TerraCycle collection point near you, they do take empty pens. And, and some art shops have got an arrangement where they'll collect them up um, and they go via the TerraCycle scheme and get recycled. So that's worth knowing. So um, that is... That is my finished spiral, which was mostly done with the Micron number 12 and the water-based felt pens. That's the other spiral I started using lots of different kinds of markers, which I might carry on with now. And that's the little swatch with all the different kinds of markers. And that this Bristol board did really well with nearly all of them. I would say especially the kind of the alcohol-based ones. Um, and it did really well with these water-based ones and the pigment ones. It just seems to be the paint pens. It doesn't seem to like the paint pens. So, yeah, I've got to put all those pens away now. <laughs> I hope you found that useful and uh, enjoyed watching Inspiring Spirals. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching today and I'll see you again really soon. Bye. <laughs>